What's going on YouTube? It is Flashback here. Today we are going to be starting career mode of Kerbal Space Program. For those of you who don't know what this game is, it's an independent game literally about space flight. From building to researching, all the way to actually landing on different planets, creating space stations, rovers, basically anything you can think of you can do in this game. If you really wanted to, you can make a moon base. Now, there is a creative, ver a creative mode. However, today we are going to be playing career. I'm not going to make any sort of custom flag or anything. So we're going to go ahead and just use... Oh, I don't know. Let's use this one with the spaceship. Now nah, let's use this one with Kerbin. Which is the name of the planet you start on. And my name is Flashback. In current mode, you have to manage all aspects of your space program. This mode is still under development. However, it is awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and start. <coughs> now, for the most part, now you, you see all these. This is like the main, like... Yeah, this is the research center, and then... And then over here, you have the actual spacecraft assembly area, which we'll get into here in a little bit. Down here, if it ever loads, you have the tracking station. Here you have the personnel area. These are your main three. They never die. Just in case you were wondering, these three never die. Boy, he is awesome. Very high courage, very low stupidity. Let's hire him. And then next will be you, and then probably... I'll probably... I'll hire you next, and we'll just call that good for now. Haven't lost any. Got some available, so let's go ahead and go back now that we have some set up. Now, I will be skipping a good majority of the actual building process in this game. However, for the first one... Since, actually, you know what, I should look into potentially building a space plane first. Or a plane, I suppose I should say. I'm really just going to be going around the Earth trying to get some uh, samples to begin with. Trying to get some science built up. Alright. So there we go. Okay, I've actually kind of forgotten how to play this game, so it'll be fun trying to remember. <laughs> He's a solid field bo booster, why not? You know what? No, I'm not going to put those there. And what's nice about this is there, there is yet to be any sort of money involved in it. Any money required to actually build. So that's really nice. I don't have any wings, huh? Alright, well, in that case, I guess I'm not going to be building a space, or, uh, an airplane anytime soon until I get, uh, wings. <coughs> Excuse me. Or wheels, for that matter. So I guess we're just going to fly around Kerbin in a space shuttle of sorts. Now, I don't believe I have anything to actually separate. Just for sending information. Okay. So nothing good on that. So really all we have is propulsion and all that, so... Let's just keep this going. Actually, you know what? Yeah. That should get us into orbit, honestly. Doesn't take much to get this sort of thing into orbit. So we're going to go ahead and turn on snaps, and we're going to set th four of these ones up, down here. Because this thing really is just meant to get us into orbit, take some tests, and then get us back. Four more of these. Okay, you 
will allow me to place you. I know that for a fact. Okay, what is the problem here? Alright. Well, let's lift these up then. See if that helps at all. And then let's try to place these. Still nothing. Alright. Well, in that case... I guess the only thing we can really do... Is just place a mass amount of boosters on this thing. There we go. Mass amount of boosters right there. And this thing's probably going to blow up. I'm going to go ahead and save... Oh. Oh yeah, I gotta name it first. This is gonna be orbital orbital spaciness mark one. Seems like a fair enough name for me. We're gonna save it and then we're gonna go ahead and launch. <laughs> now it suddenly occurs to me I didn't put any parachutes on this, so this is really just gonna be a test run. So we have Jebediah Carbon. Kerman, I'm sorry. So, let's see how well this goes. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and revert the flight. Return to vehicle assembly 47 seconds ago. <laughs> Alright, let's just remove all those. Alright, so where was it? These? Yeah. place a couple of those there and from there we'll go ahead and place these along here as well okay, I guess I don't really even need that just place you a little higher on here then and then let's bring another tank on the bottom of it and another one there and then we're gonna put four of these bad boys on here At least we should be able to. There we go, if we can down there. I kind of want this to be a little higher up on it. Yeah, like right there. That looks nice. Alright. Alright. So, since we're just going to have... Okay, that looks good. Five parachutes should land that thing back down. So we're going to go ahead and save it there and launch. Let's see how well this works. Hopefully having those four actually pulling on it will help us get out of the atmosphere a little bit. Let's so open use those boosters, but those ones are a little, uh, sketchy. Alright, let's go. Oh, son. So, <laughs> wow, <coughs> excuse me, so it helps if you actually have different uh, staging, Let's bring those up to zero along with that one, there we go. 
out of curiosity. So that one's gonna have the most fuel throughout the entire thing. You know what? Let's see if we can just make a just a giant rocket. Just one giant freaking long ass rocket. Let's see how well that turns out for us. Alright. It's gonna take a lot to get this thing into the air, but hopefully once it's up, it should be extremely efficient once we get out of the initial atmosphere. Alright. Save and launch. This should be a hilarious launch. <laughs> Anything this tall generally won't be very aerodynamic, needless to say. And, cool, I still have one parachute, that'll be enough. Alright, that should be enough. Alright, and let's go. Yeah. Look at that thing go. Actually, it's a lot straighter than I expected it to be. Kind of makes me tempted to put, like, four sets of these things around it. I feel like that'd just be inefficient. From the looks of it, I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to escape the first portion of the atmosphere. We'll see you, though. Yeah, we're slowing down now. Oh, not really. We're still, we're still gaining speed. I just do that? I did. Well, isn't that just great? It was all the efficiency I had. Oh, God. Oh, God. And don't show again. I know, I know. Save it. Nope. Okay. Well, let's just slow her down then. Alright, there we go. If we can just hold there, unfortunately the parachute's not going to make it easy by any means. Hold it there, we might be able to make it into some sort of orbit. Or at least far enough into space to actually do something with it. No, I'm just gonna go straight up. Or not. Alright, let's see if we can get back up there then. Come on. This isn't what I'm looking for. Come on, let's go. Alright, there we go. Let's get a little bit higher if we can. The longer we keep gaining speed, the better off we'll be. Oh man, now we're gaining speed, look at that. Quite where I wanted to be, but I suppose it's good enough. All right. So let's go ahead and just do a crew report. That's 3.5 science. I'll take it, I suppose. That's really all I can do right now. All right, get rid of that, please. All right. Please get rid of that. How do I get rid of that? All right. All right, let's just go as fast as we can then. That was kind of hilarious to watch. All right, I did get rid of it. 
go as fast as we can back down to the bottom of the earth. And I'll do another crew report like right here. Crew report. Mm, don't I override, I suppose. Can we slow down enough, though? That's the question. That is the ultimate question. Will we slow down enough? Oh, man. No, it's not. Oh, there we go. Parachute opened. And now we fall down, fall down, fall down, fall down. 11.6 seconds. All right. And there we go. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown. probably get back to land like this. That's the funny thing. Alright. Can we do a crew report from down here? No, we cannot. We only have one crew. EVA. Alright. EVA report. I don't think it was entirely necessary. Okay, great. Take surface sample. <laughs> well, why not? Alright, cool. And we're just going to board here, and then we will go to the Space Center. I, f I didn't look. Was there a way to end the flight? Probably should have looked before I did that. Either way, let's go to the tracking station then. <laughs> and let us go ahead and recover. Great. So we got 26 signs from that. It's actually not horrible for your first trip out. So expect to see a few more explosions, but I don't really have anything to go overly crazy yet. All right, the technology we started out with. All right, cool. Then the next thing we have is basic rocketry, which gives us a stack decoupler, which is awesome. Mystery goo containment, great for science. And a couple new fuel tanks. A big one and a small one. So let's go ahead and research that. Then what do we have? We have general rocketry, which gives us a larger engine. Small canister filled with what appears to be solid rocket fuel. Okay, so it's basically, uh... Okay. So just a new type of ro smaller rocket. That is a solid fuel booster. That'd be nice to have. Down here we have... A radial decoupler, winglets, and a nose cone. Not really necessary. And here you get a new parachute, landing struts, and liquid fuel engine. That one might be a pretty good one to go for. How much does it cost? 15? You cost 20? Oh gosh. That would allow us to get into the atmosphere a lot better. We have a decoupler now, so we should be able to do stages. Anything else come with this one? No, I don't have any boosters. Do you come with boosters? No, no boosters to speak of. Alright. Well, I kind of have to go with this one, because I want to get into orbit. Plus, it gives me the mystery goo, I believe. No, mystery goo is with this one. No, mystery goo is down here? Or did I already get the mystery goo? Okay. So, we'll go with this one. Alright. The next ones we have are... Advanced rocketry, which gives you a new fuel tank and that little liquid engine that's pretty much completely useless except on landers. Here you have a tricoupler, radial decoupler. Okay, the launch pad basically, and strut connectors, which are very nice to have. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and build another ship and I will be right back as we launch it towards orbit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the new orbit, maybe Mark One. Got all the stages set up here, so we're gonna go ahead. I have four solid fuel boosters along with that engine to help get us out of the thick part of the atmosphere. Hopefully, this thing stays straight. That's all I can hope for. <laughs> here we go. Uh, I already lost a couple engines. So that was cool.
like they're going to keep on trying to fall off here. A little bit of fuel left. I'm actually starting to lose some surface speed, so that sucks. Alright. So next time we just need to work on some new way of... Okay, I got you. I see what we got to do here. Alright, so, alright, so I'll revert to fly, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are with an all-new version of it. It's just taller, more stages, etc. Stages are all set up, ready to go, so let's see if we can get this thing into orbit properly. This time I actually have my engine. So that's always good. So we're already pulling. I don't really even need that booster. Or that... Yeah, I'm thinking I could probably run that, uh... That, uh... Those boosters on their own, and then that first engine on a completely separate one. If that engine is... If that engine is even really necessary at all. How's our orbital map looking? Like poop. I need to go farther up. Plain and simple. So let's start heading up then. Let's see if we can go a little more north, really. Alright. Right there is what I'm aim for. We need to go higher. We must go higher. Otherwise, everything I'm doing right now is completely in vain. Oh, a parachute, right? Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a mystery goo right now. Seven. Seven science is okay for me. Alright. Let's go ahead and start bringing it around a little bit on this engine then. Now we have all the torque we're ever really going to need. Oh my, that is uh, interesting. So let's actually bring this down towards the horizon real quick and see if we can get ourselves into a fairly stable orbit. Alright, let's go. Down towards the horizon we go. Oh god, no, that is not what we want to do. Okay, well, you know what? I'm okay with that, because that'll get us plenty far out, and it'll bring us back down, too. Reset, and let's go ahead and observe that one now. What is it saying? The goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Sweet, that's ten. All right. Now let's do a crew report here. It's another five. You know what? Real quick, why don't we go ahead and just EVA you? 
And don't even bother letting go of anything, because I need to zoom around and come to you. EVA report. That's eight points right there. Cool. Alright, let's get back in. Let's go ahead and zoom forward in time here. Oh. Sorry about that. Alright. Alright. We'll take another mystery goo right about... Right at the Apple Apps, I suppose. Would be a great time to do it. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick while we have a chance. The goo feels uh, right at home here. All right. Reset goo canister. Reset goo canister. And then it'll be this one last. So let's go ahead and return home then, shall we? All right. So where are we at now? We are almost back. Sweet. You know, I feel like if I had gone straight, I probably could have made it straight to the moon. <laughs> So that might actually be a rocket design to, for the future here. Probably should have had something to get rid of that, but whatever. It is what it is. I'll go ahead and do another mystery goo once we get down to the planet's surface. Wee! Oh god. Go ahead and start killing some speed with that parachute out now. All right, cool. There we go, beautiful. Right where I wanted it to stop. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, that, okay. But Jebediah is okay, and that's another three points. Cool. Do a quick EVA report here. All right, let's see if we can switch, flip this thing over at all. Now can we do an EVA? Cool. Oh, did my guy just get stuck? Whatever. EVA report. 2.4. Cool. Take surface sample. Nine. Sweet. Mostly barren snow, dirt, and rocks. You're very confident that if you looked under the snow, you'd find more dirt and rocks. Fair enough. Alright. That should be enough for this one. And Space Center, then we gotta go and recover the flight to get all of the sciences, and this actually might be a pretty good haul on this one. As the sun is coming up. Oh yeah, I gotta come back here and recover the flight and all the fun stuff. Oh shit. Well, let's just recover him. Recover. So that's 13 science from that. And let's recover you as well. That's another 30. Nice, though. 43 science is not... Oh, wait, no. 17.3 science earned in that mission. So we have 30 total. Okay. I got you. Well, it's not going to be a huge amount, but... It might get us new rockets or anything around that. Don't really need that would be the next thing I would go for, but that's a really small end low end uh, rocket. Radio decoupler. Nothing really useful there though. Decoupler wouldn't be too bad of an idea. I think the next things we're gonna go for though are gonna be here. They're forty five apiece, so we're gonna have to make one more mission. Maybe we'll try to go to the moon. We That'll be it for Kerbal Space Program Career Mode Episode 1. We'll see you next time for Episode 2. Till then, take it easy.